How are you? Um, I'm like a four on a scale of one to ten. Hmm. I still smile. I smile through everything. It right. really upsets a lot of people. Does it? Yes. It people off? Yeah, because they can't read my face. I just choose to be happy no matter what's going on. Right. It we did. It is a choice. Yeah. We did choose to assist our family cat. That was that yesterday. was my next question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When so did that happen? Spirit. Yesterday at noon. Okay, I knew that. <laughs> so uh, I knew exactly when it happened. Yes. Mm -hmm. You could feel it. I had some strange things like. Yes. Um, Dershna. I text you. Yeah, um, Dershna texted me right at the moment. My grandmother, who never calls me, called me right at that moment. Like, she told me that my name popped up on her phone, and she was like, "Oh, look at that! She's trying to call me." So I'll call her back. And I was like, "Grandma, I didn't, I didn't call or text you or anything." How strong of a spirit is Benny? Because I felt it, and I said, "It's today." In my head, I was in my car, and I said, "I should ask her." And I said, "Oh, I'll just ask her tomorrow." It was yep. yesterday. It yep. was yesterday. I knew it. So, was it peaceful as it can be? As it could be, yes. Okay. Yeah. I have the chills. It's so weird that I knew it. Wow. I'm sorry. Thank you. Me too. Yeah. Wow. And um, um, it got us into a huge debate. With I who? called all the guides. I called I everybody in that I okay. knew, yes. Okay. Of um when she was going or after? After. Okay. I woke up like at five AM. Oh, maybe. that's today. <laughs> yeah. That's today. God, my days you were, like you were debating in your mind? Like, yes, yeah, so I got up and I meditated. Okay. Right. Because I told the spirits. Today. Yeah. I told the spirits. I was like, so um, you reminded me last time we talked that grief cannot be compared. No. You mentioned that Jesus told you or, and um, so I was like, all right, so why am I grieving so hard over a cat that I've had this much time with four and a half years? Mm -hmm. And you know, we've been through some really trying times together, but just mm -hmm. the drop in the bucket, you know? Right. And I started going into valuing the human life over the animal life and this weird, like, indoctrinated thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maitland, Grace, Griffin was there. I had so, my grandfather, we had so many people. Eric, everybody was just showing up and kind of reveling in my struggle. Right. <laughs> They're like, right. oh, man, this is just how it is. And Maitland then said that grief she described grief as being mechanical. She described grief as something that we were trained to do, mm -hmm. that when something is lost, mm -hmm. gone, transitioned, dead, that it tears the ego because then you can no longer define yourself the way you used to because that part is gone. So you grieve, but it's really only grieving over yourself it's not actually grieving over what that animal person tree or whatever has gone through. Wow. Maybe so I was like deep falling that apart is, a little bit. That is effing deep Maitland for how young Maitland is because um, not that she's not evolved from going to the other side and all the lives she's had, but um, you know, I didn't know how to answer how many kids I had. When Griffin died and that has to do with me and who I am right totally what she's saying and I say I have two boys one in heaven and one here that's how I answer it every time now and um but you do you lose who you are you don't know who you are anymore she's right at a certain level you don't you don't know how to answer. You're like, I used to get just stumped by that question. Because I was like, do I really want to go into that? Do I have to explain? Do I? I, I didn't know who I was anymore. She's totally right. 
a milk Griffin. Griffin says, you definitely don't have to explain. Yeah. And then they changed the topic. Griffin said, what if we were taught that death was a joyful journey? Right. What would grieving look like then? What would right. goodbyes look like? Not even death, just goodbyes. Right. And then they launched into this whole silly conversation, which thankfully that was what we ended on. And so it helped me kind of raise my energy up a little bit. But, right. Right. you know, we would all sit around and feel blissful when somebody leaves their body. We would feel joyful. Right. And um, Griffin was explaining, he says, you know, that it was something about taking drugs. Like people would think I'd taken drugs if I was like, yeah, man, my cat is dead. Woo -woo. <laughs> like it was awesome. It was a good time. Everybody had a great time. <laughs> I, was, I was like, Griffin, there's no way I could have walk around like that. <laughs> so, but I, you know, Griffin, um, I love you first of all, but I, um, and you know, that without saying, but, um, I do joke about death being joyful and I only have certain people I can joke with about it, but cause I will sound crazy, but, um, I try to change it. Like if someone dies, sometimes I'll go lucky bastard. You know, what I mean? <laughs> someone killed themselves at Griffin's graveyard yesterday. So I freaked out and drove over making sure it wasn't Eric. And um, it was a 70 year old man and I, I, in my mind, I'm like, lucky bastard. You know what I mean? Like he got out of here and my work's not done here. So I'm not ready to leave. I'm not going to manifest that because I know how manifesting works now very easily, very, very easily. But um, I do look at death as a joyful thing now. I do. Good. Include me in your club. We can joke around about it a little bit more. We can yeah, change the perspective of some other people out there. Right? Because people are so afraid to talk about death. And I'm sure that talking with you, Jamie, through you two, everyone has helped me get there. Because it is scary not knowing where you're going and, you know, those kind of feelings. But I feel like I know exactly where I'm going. And I'm not scared. And it's a relief. Like, <sighs> Here is like as close to hell as you can get. Now, life can be joyful if you choose to be happy. But over there, um, I was just on my porch drinking my coffee. Going to call you who put her cat Bunny to sleep yesterday, sent her on her way. And I'm sitting in the skies making bets, uh, football bets, walking back and forth pacing uh making bets that quarterback sucks and i what's the spread on that and it's he might as well be speaking chinese to me because i don't know how to place bets but it sounded fun you know and he was so into it and pacing and he sounded like he was from new york and i was thinking it's so weird i'm sitting here enjoying my coffee and i'm about ready to talk to my dead kid and in my life so different than his you just put bunny to sleep like how our lives are so at such different in such different spaces yeah. I was enjoying his conversation, but I was just kind of giggling inside thinking, I'm glad I've gotten to this point. It took seven years, but I'm waiting to talk to my dead kid and you're placing bets on football teams. You know what I mean? But he was into it and he, it was joyful. His conversation was funny, you know, and he was laughing and tell, talking about this quarterback sucks and what's the spread on this. <laughs> it just got me philosophical, like how everyone's at a different pace in their life. Yeah. And you have to choose to be joyful. And then Jesse came out, Griffin's like sister, who I joked with Seth about a lot. And I said, come here, Jesse. And I pointed it out to her and she was laughing. And she goes, little does he know, you can go ask what the spread is and who's going to win. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Even made the joke. He goes, why isn't he just calling someone like you and asking? Right, exactly. No. I said, no. <laughs> Griffin will tell me that that's not part of his lesson. And then she goes, I said, I've already talked to Griffin about why they don't give the lotto numbers and stuff like that. Um, and Jesse goes, can you ask for me? Do I need that lesson? And, and I was like, does Jesse need Nordstrom's more or the lesson more? And we were laughing so hard. And I go, it doesn't, she goes, tell him I'll be generous with it. And I go, 
haven't you looked at me and seen generosity doesn't change the devil at work, which is money. It doesn't change it. It, it doesn't, you know, right? And I go, you'd follow me because she pretty much follows me and everything. That is a great statement. So who went with you to, um, to send her home? Because she went home. Benny went home. You're stuck here. That's the sad part. <laughs> Sorry we, to know that. But we, you're not reality. <laughs> <laughs> we do this at home. And okay. Rui had pulled out his back, so we had to do it on the master bed because okay. Rui couldn't get out of bed. Okay. And I asked my son if he wanted to join us. He said, nope. So he said his goodbyes and he left. My daughter said yes. And she held Bunny and petted and talked. And it was just really eye-opening to watch your kid process assisting somebody over. And she was just so centered. And I thought either she's super in shock and she doesn't realize what's going on or she super gets it and she's okay. And afterwards, she asked me, um, you know, are you afraid? Are you scared? I said, no, I know where she's going. I said, if anything, I'm a little jealous, but I'm not going anywhere. She goes, okay. She said, what are you feeling? I said, I'm, I'm terribly sad, but it's not about where Bunny's going. It's just that I won't get to see her every day and, and play that role for her because I really liked it. Right. It's just amazing. But there were so many. We gritted it. We took crystals, black tourmaline, rose quartz, amethyst, smoky, and gritted the mat where she was. We put her favorite toys with her. We did um, a prayer wood that she loves smelling. She likes to carry it around like a little dog and did all those things for her. And it was just, just really, really sweet. Tons of spirit, Maitland, Grace. And like I said, everybody was there. Everybody was there this morning when I woke up to meditate. She knew, Bunny knew, right? She was asking to go, like Ozo asked me. Yeah. Yeah, it was strange. I woke up Monday before I even saw her. It was like 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> when I get stressed out, I wake up early. Yeah. And um, I was like, today's the day. I was like, that's it. I got to make a phone call. And I hadn't even seen her. And I told Rui. And oddly enough, we couldn't find her. You know, they go into hiding. I know. I was like, that's the day. That's to protect you. Isn't that sweet? Very. I'd like to do that. Very. That's what I so did. He went to the bottom of the stairs. This is as far as he could go. Because we had that. It was in my old apartment. And you had stairs to walk up into our house. And he just laid by the door. Oh. I mean, he couldn't have. He couldn't have spelled it out any, any more to me. I mean, I was pretty <laughs> But I made him like not come out for bacon, not move. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, it, was um, it was good. It was peaceful. Mm -hmm. It was sad. But it was peaceful. And the house was weird without him. So the house will be weird without Benny for a while. Mm -hmm. Even and though she'll be there. The other cat's a little lost. But we oh, laid God, Bunny so out. Weird. We kept her out for about two hours so that the other cat could see her body and know that she wasn't there. And then about two hours, the cat would come into the room, wouldn't even acknowledge Bunny's body and just kind of walked around it. I was she like, was okay, ready. it's time to bury her. Yeah, she knew. She knows. Mm -hmm. She probably knew Bunny was sick too. I've seen that in dogs and stuff, yeah. Damn her for not telling me. I know. But you think... You got to keep your illness really private from me. Like yeah. you think I'm the master of covering up. I wear a smile everywhere I go because I practice that and I choose that. It makes me feel better. Right. Bunny did the same thing. I had no idea she wasn't well until it was diagnosed and she left. Wow. Yeah. 